There were two men. Each set out to build their home. One built his upon the rocks, while the other did so upon the sand. And then came the storm. There are absolutes. Things that are fixed that no matter how much we may want to move them, will always remain. Jesus said anyone who hears his words and does them will have his life built upon the rock. But to not do them is to live upon the sand. Rock or sand. You see, the ocean is immense, completely vast, pulled by forces beyond man's control, and therefore, it demands respect. You see, it doesn't know you, and it doesn't care about you. It can't. The ocean is an unyielding force. You've been to it. And much like the tides of the ocean, each wave of our culture is a voice washing over the known ideas and fixed points of the world around us. This energy, this force, presses on as each new generation takes the place of the last. And the sands that we've come to identify with shift. The waves move the sand. Culture changes. We're told that there is no God and you are an accident. There's no right or wrong way. You make your own truth. On these sands, even established scientific facts like gender are shifting. From here, fame and popularity become more important than kindness and virtue. The lines of good and evil are blurred. Compliance to these ideas is demanded, and the rock? The rock is hated. You see, culture will mold you, and society will shape you. It will forcibly bend you to its will as long as you remain on the shore. And today, we haven't just built homes on the sand. No, we've built kingdoms and countries upon it. More and more have left the rock to enjoy the temporary pleasures of the shore, unaware that nothing will withstand the tide. Make no mistake, the tide is rising. These sands will move. Don't let yourself be drawn out to sea, but rather find the rock. Without a foundation, without a guide, and without rules, we know a society breaks down. See, we've been taught to look at the teachings of Jesus as something to block us from pleasure and enjoyment, when in reality, it was put there to build our life upon. To protect us. The world always calls to us, but it never wants us to leave. And yes, I fully engage society, but my home is on the rock. The water is already rising. We're living in a world gone mad, and no one has the answers. When the floods come, something always has to give. Either the waves will break you, or the rock will break the waves. There's only one who can save us. He's the one who walked on water through the storm to save those who believed in him. When Peter began to sink under the waves, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus, with compassion in his eyes, pulls Peter from the water. He holds his hand to you. There's no condemnation. He's not mad. He just wants to save you, to pull you to the rock.